Sorry, Zach, I won't do that again. I, I just had the dang thing stuck in my head, as happens from time to time. Uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, that is the opening theme uh, music to Ask Zach, a great, uh, great channel you should be checking out if you like guitars and musicians and music and things that we plug guitars into and uh, why guitars are cool and how to become a cooler guitarist yourself. Highly recommend his his channel, and you will hear that uh, little intro piece played better uh, and uh, with more panache. But uh, good luck getting it out of your head too. Anyway, the purpose of all this was because I wanted to show how the deluxe reverb works as the proverbial bedroom app. Everyone's like. What about a bedroom app? I'm looking at half watt, one watt. Is five watts too much? You know, because um, in the Amps Under a $500 video and the Amps Under a $1,000 video, I said the criteria needs to be at least 15 watts. 15, 20 watts is the minimum. So you can play on stage with a drummer. You can gig with it. So that excluded a whole lot of, quote, bedroom apps. <clears throat> and I just don't see the point of them because as I showed with the um, AC15 video, the late night thing I did with that, you can use a tube amp at very low volumes around the house and then gig with it. So this is a 22 watt deluxe reverb. I have the volume just below two. And aside from those clams, it sounds really good. I could go down a little bit more than this, but this is good for the purpose. You could have a sleeping child in the next room. You could have a, a neighbor right beneath you and they wouldn't be disturbed by this. It's lower than most people watch TV at or listen to the radio. Um, if you need to have overdrive or distortion or delay and stuff, use your pedals. You'll hear it back at this level. So when it comes to practice apps, home apps, bedroom apps, etc., etc. I really don't see the point of a tube amp that only puts out one watt or a half watt or even five watts unless it's a really good example of maybe a champ. I would still rather have a Princeton or a Deluxe than a champ or Vibro champ um, just because you have the flexibility to use that same investment on stage with other musicians as opposed to just practicing. And the tube amps in that price range for the low wattage stuff tend to be pretty cheap things. I'm not saying that you don't spend money on them, but a lot of them don't last. So I would urge you to consider whether you could have one real tube amp, and I don't care if it's the Vox or the Deluxe Reverb or whatever, uh, that you could also use on stage or if you need something else that can go from true bedroom levels or headphones or USB connection to your computer to stage, the Katana and the Head Rush and the other things like that can be fine choices, especially for practice. If you wanna have your whole suite of effects at very low volumes into headphones or into your computer sound card or whatever, the modelers make a lot of sense. Let me show you the two things that I do for my own practice apps. I usually don't even bother hooking up an app. I will sit on the couch. And just play. The other option, my favorite option. People forget about these. This is my 1999 Gibson Southern Jumbo. It is a great Amplifier. It comes with a built-in volume control. It can go from very, very quiet.
Sorry, the weather's been changing. Very, very quiet. To very loud. And it doesn't take any electricity. And it doesn't take any batteries. So if you need something between the level of a Strat that's not plugged in and a Strat into a deluxe reverb on two, don't forget about this option. Probably the best and the first bedroom app.